Good evening, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Paris. And today we have just the man who is the man of the season and the day. He is the man who flew the Rafale above the Champs Elysees in the French skies. We have with us Group Captain Abhishek Tripathi, who is the Rafale pilot from the team of the three Rafales, which flew here from India to take part in the Bastille Day Parade. Welcome, Abhishek, to ADU's chat room. Thank you for having me. And how does it feel, Abhishek, you know, to have flown yeah. over with your prime minister beneath and trying to see how you, what you're doing? And he was actually clapping. We were there and we could see that he was clapping all the time you were flying. So how did, what was the feel you got? You, know, you knew he was downstairs on the ground. Yes, yes. Uh, for us, uh, it was a great feeling uh, to be part of this uh, fly past. Uh, as we all know, it's a very, very uh, prestigious occasion for us to be participating in this one. And uh, it's a very, very elaborate uh, fly past uh, overall conducted by the French authorities, the French uh, Air and the Space Force. And uh, we are really, really happy and uh, honored to be part of this. Uh, as far as uh, the reactions and all are for you all to see, for us as a pilot, uh, it's just the time and the target and the mission uh, which matters. So that's all we were doing that day. Yeah, but I got to know that it was a, uh, it was a good one uh, on the ground as well. No, it was wonderful. And you met your mission absolutely well. You completed it flawlessly. And we were also there with the crowds on Champs Elysees when you were flying, and it was wonderful. You know, the French, it was a majorly French population, but uh, everybody was excited about the fact that there were Indian Rafales flying, and it was very, very beautiful to see the reaction. We have recorded a lot of reactions of the people on ground, and it's just wonderful. And uh, when did you arrive here, Abhishek? Uh, we have uh, been here uh, a week before uh, because as when we come here, we have to do certain uh, practice missions as well uh, to get through the entire briefings and the coordination because as you know, the fly past is a very, very closely uh, stitched uh, event. Uh, there is no uh, scope uh, of being uh, out in terms of time and space uh, because you have a uh, lot of aircraft ahead and behind you. So we have arrived well in time here and we have gone through uh, practices and uh, elaborate uh, rehearsals, which were also conducted by the French authorities. And uh, because of that, uh, we were really, really comfortable uh, on the final day as well. And uh, how much time did it take you to fly from uh, India to uh, here to France? Yeah, as we all know that uh, the place we are where, where we are based is uh, um, Evro Fauville uh, Air Base of uh, French Air and Space Force, uh, which is in uh, north uh, northwest part of the France, uh, very close to Paris, uh, which is away from our uh, direction from where we come. So uh, the flight time was approximately nine hours and forty five minutes uh, for us uh, from India all the way direct to uh, the base uh, where we intended to land with no breaks. Yes, uh, we did not uh, take any breaks. We did uh, multiple air-to-air -air, uh, refuelings and route. And is it a Rafale base otherwise where you are here in France? Uh, uh, um, I don't know if I'm uh, allowed to comment on this because these are the these are the air base of uh, French Air and uh, Space Force, and right. I'm, I'm I would like to reserve my comment on that. Yeah. All right. Absolutely, no problem. That there's no problem at all. And uh, because you are here, I think all the maintenance and repair activities are also with the French Air Force. So uh, is is the compatibility between the two uh, forces great when it comes to uh, doing this when you are dependent on them for it? We always uh, travel as a small and compact contingent, which is self-sufficient uh, in uh, taking over all the maintenance activities, all the logistics, uh, things are catered, all the all the spares and support. Uh, we are totally self-sufficient in terms of the technical manpower, the operational manpower, the ADAM requirements, as well as the logistical support. However, when we land, uh, we do require a lot of support. Uh, from the uh, parent uh, base as well at which we are operating with 
and uh, here i would like to mention that we had really really no problems at all uh, with the french authorities and all the operational technical adam support provided by them us uh, were uh, absolutely bang on and uh, it was good enough for us to go through the operations in a very very uh, smooth and efficient manner and did your team also fly down on the c17 in which the other contingent flew Uh, the C-17 uh, provided us the support uh, from India to get our contingent uh, all the way from uh, India to France. And uh, you know, you have you have flown. Uh, will I should I presume only the Indian Rafale, or have you also flown the French Rafale? No, normally we never uh, we don't fly the other Rafales until unless it's a. Uh, proper uh, dedicated exchange uh, mission in any excise or something so i have uh, only been flying uh, the air force uh, indian air force rafales yeah okay because otherwise had you told me that you were trained on the french ones i would have asked you how are they different from the ones you eventually got so <laughs> yeah. now that you i mean you got this these ones so i think the other ones and uh, what was the first impression Uh, of rafale that i asked all rafale pilots this thing and i really would like to ask you what was the first impression before rafale were you flying something else some other aircraft yeah i have been flying multiple fighter aircraft uh, throughout yeah. my career uh, throughout my long career of fighter flying i have been flying many fighter aircrafts and trainer yeah. aircrafts in the indian right. air force uh, but yet as you said uh, flying uh, the rafale on the first time for the first time was of course a experience to remember uh, because uh, before flying we also go through a dedicated uh, ground training uh, so we all we are already aware about how the aircraft is but uh, it's a 4.5 uh, generation uh, omni role fighter it's a very versatile uh, aircraft and uh, is able to uh, address multiple missions with much smaller numbers it's a very it provides a lot of flexibility to the planners because in real time it can switch the roles and switch the type of missions uh, even in uh, short notice even in the air and uh, the lot of uh, the, all the sensors of this system of this aircraft are uh, beautifully synchronized as a sensor fusion is uh, great and it provides great uh, situational awareness to the pilot and yes uh, uh, hence uh, it's uh, it's uh, dream for any fighter pilot to fly such a advanced fighter it's a very compact and extremely uh, powerful and discreet uh, machine i think that was very really wonderful you are here in france for how many days more uh, uh we are here for a couple of days more before okay. our uh, de induction uh, yeah right and then you're back in india so great yes, we are yes. looking forward to seeing you guys flying a lay uh, along uh, next time when we are there in the air force day parade and uh, it was lovely speaking with you, uh, with you abhishek i really look forward to seeing more and more of flying from the ground below with rfls flying above delhi or any location where we have the first day and parade celebrated looking forward to seeing you again and you know asking you more about the bird you have full control over in the skies it was lovely to see you flying over uh, the french ground and i really hope that you know we can do more in a lot of other countries and let people know that we have not only the best aircraft but the best pilots on earth that's wonderful it's great to be in indian and jai hind thank you very much thank you thank you jai hind